Thomas Watling. Thomas Watling, 19 September 1762 1814, was an early Australian painter and illustrator, notable for his natural history drawings and landscapes. Early life and education. Born in Dumfries, Scotland, he was raised by his maiden aunt, Marion Kirkpatrick, after both parents died in his infancy. Art featured in his education, and he went on to form his own academy, where he taught drawing to ladies and gentlemen. In Glasgow, he worked briefly as a coach and Shays painter before being charged with forgery in Dumfries on 27 November 1788. Conviction and transportation to New South Wales. Watling was charged with having forged one guinea promissory notes of the Bank of Scotland and sentenced to 14 years transportation to New South Wales on 14 April 1789. He was held at Plymouth in the prison ship Dunkirk before being transferred to the convict transport pit. Departing on the pit with 410 convicts in July 1791, Watling escaped while docked at Cape Town. He was later arrested and transferred to the East Indiaman Royal Admiral, finally arriving in Sydney on 7 October 1792. Career Artist in New South Wales Thomas Watling is thought to be the first professional artist to arrive in New South Wales. In Sydney, Watling worked with John White, the colony's Surgeon General, copying natural history illustrations. In 1796, he was given a conditional pardon by the colony's second governor, John Hunter, made absolute on 5 April 1797. Thomas Watling painted many of the early colonial pictures of Australia and made a prolific number of sketches of birds, fish, mammals, plants, landscapes, and Aboriginal people. One painting that was attributed to him, a direct north general view of Sydney Cove 1794, is the earliest known oil painting of Sydney. The identity of the artist of this oil painting has long been debated. The inscription on the reverse clearly identifies Watling, however, he is not known to have painted in oils. The canvas is dated 1794, and there is no record of any colonial artist using oils until 1812, by which time Watling had received a pardon and returned to Britain. It is now believed this work was painted in Britain, possibly based on sketches made by Watling in Sydney. This work now belongs to the Dixon Gallery, State Library of New South Wales.